What do these drummers have in common? These drummers use longitudinal waves in order to transport the sound of their drums. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and Longitudinal Waves. Longitudinal waves are waves in which the displacement of the medium is in the same direction as the direction of the propagation, or the movement of the wave. In other words, the displacement of the medium is parallel to the propagation of the wave. Longitudinal waves are also called compressional or compression waves because they produce compression and rarefraction when traveling. Let's take a look at the anatomy of a longitudinal wave. The compressions are regions of high pressure due to the particles being close together. Rarefactions are regions of low pressure due to the particles being further apart. The wavelength measurement is made by measuring the distance from a compression to the next compression or from rarefraction to the next rarefraction. The frequency of a longitudinal wave is the number of wavelengths that pass a fixed point per second. Examples of longitudinal waves include sound waves and seismic P waves. P waves, just like sound waves in air, have the motion of the particles in the rocks that the waves travel through parallel to the direction of the wave. If you'd like to know more about waves, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.